Hi everyone, this is Alvin over at Contender Bicycles here in Salt Lake City in Park City, Utah. And I'm here to talk to you today about the all new RockShox Reverb Access Dropper Seat Post. Now, if you're not already familiar with what Access is, it belongs to SRAM's new Access ecosystem of wireless components that are compatible with one another. That includes the SRAM Eagle Access group set as well as the SRAM Red ETAP Access road bike group set. And while the new Reverb Access Dropper Post is wireless, like everything else in the Access ecosystem, allowing you to swap it between bikes with ease, it is completely different than the standard Reverb Dropper Seat Post, and it starts with its internals. The biggest change here in the internals is the updated internal floating piston, or IFP. This redesigned IFP has much less friction than before, allowing the dropper post to go up and down much more easily on the trail. Further, its redesigned IFP requires less maintenance, going 600 hours in between service intervals compared to the 200 hours of the standard RockShox Reverb dropper post. Perhaps our favorite update of the Reverb Access dropper post is their new vent valve technology. Standard reverb dropper posts might develop a little bit of play or squish with time where the saddle moves around or the seat post doesn't go up or down as quickly as you'd want it to. This new vent valve makes it really easy to fix that. All you have to do is remove the dropper seat post, press the button on the bottom, compress the seat post, and it pushes all the air out of the oil channels and puts it back into the air chamber where it needs to be. Put it back in the bike and you'll have no more play and you'll be able to ride and have a peak performing dropper post. And because this is part of the Axis ecosystem, there's a lot of cool features that are available to the Reverb Axis post. For example, the controller is completely overhauled now, going with a touch button instead of a one by lever or a plunger design. And while those were easy enough to use, this one allows you to keep complete control of the handlebars without moving your grip or putting in excess force. The Reverb Axis Post actually receives a redesigned seat post head as well with a one bolt design that allows you to tighten down your seat post with ease as well as a bolt up front that allows you to control how much the seat post is tilted. And finally, the battery on this is hot swappable between other Axis components, meaning Eagle Axis rear derailleurs and ETAP Axis rear derailleur and front derailleur as well. Like other Reverb Dropper seat posts, the Reverb Axis is available in three diameters from 30.9 to 34.9 millimeters and four different modes of travel from 100 millimeters all the way to 170 millimeters of travel. All said and done, this dropper seat post works really well. It's really easy to use, it's friction free, and it requires very little maintenance. We're really excited about the redesigned internal floating piston, and we expect it to have far less service intervals as said compared to the standard RockShox Reverb dropper. That's it everyone. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website at contenderbicycles.com or give us a call during business hours to any of our shops. Additionally, feel free to send us an email at info at contenderbicycles.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media too. Thanks everyone.